here with Isaiah Shattuck to preview the 2022 Concordia, Concordia men's soccer season and that, as we record this uh, not too far away from a, uh, a season opening trip to Oregon uh, which will be a, a, a new experience for everyone. Um, let's just start out with um, kind of getting to know you a little bit. Um, you, you graduated from Lincoln Southwest High School, so not far away from, from Seward, but um, why, why was Concordia the, the place for you? Yeah, um, well, I've been here for three years. This will be my fourth, and I've loved every second of it. I love the sense of community and camaraderie with everyone on campus, to be honest. Um, and it's felt like home since the beginning. Uh, I think everyone does a good job of making people feel that way, even when visiting. Um, so that that was a pretty easy decision for me as to why I decided to come, as well as I didn't want to want to stray too far from home as well. So it's a 30-minute drive back home where it's nice for when I want to go visit the family. So not not a too difficult of an adjustment. Was there anything that? maybe has surprised you about this experience as a, a student athlete here? Yeah, I'm, I've had a, a lot of growing up to do. <laughs> uh, I, I, I've grown into my, my own person. Uh, I'm, I'd say I'm proud of the, the man I've becoming and I've been learning from a lot of people here. And I've, I've been happy for the guidance I've been given from professors and, and people and even working with you, for example, it's been, it's been a pleasure. So. Well, you, you get introduced to a lot of different people from different backgrounds and countries when you're part of the, the men's soccer program here, but uh, how has that maybe changed your perspective on, on things, um, just meeting all those all, all types of people from different places? Yeah, it's been, it's been really fun. Um, it's cool to see us all come together. It's, it's fun, the, the cultural differences. Uh, and then when, when we all step foot on the field, it's it's all put aside and we're playing together as a unit. And, and it's just, it's cool, it's funny hearing different slang and, and uh, terms used from all over the world. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. And, and now I got a friend in basically every country all over, so. How many languages can you speak then? <laughs> uh, English. Just I can English. speak English. Okay. I know a few terms in, in other languages, uh -huh. but uh, those will not be said. <laughs> right, right. Um, so Coach Coach Whitus is entering his 15th season as head coach here. What have you maybe observed about him that you feel like has made him successful over a long period of time? Yeah, um, he's composed. He, he's never one to be um, shaken up, I'd say. He's always got his plan and he sticks to it and no matter if it's going really south you're not going to see him reacting in a in a poor way he'll try to guide us back on track and, and redirect us in the way that he, he wants us to fix whatever issue it is that we're having um, on the field or sometimes off the field he'll he'll keep us all in line and, and I think that can is a big reason as to why he's been so successful. And, and, and Coach Whitus, uh, it, at least in the, the spring, talked about how uh, last fall maybe maybe there was just something, a little something missing to, to get over the hump. Maybe it was grit or, or attitude. What, what do you feel has to be maybe different to, to change some of those results into to wins this year? Yeah, uh, that was a big topic in the off season this year. Uh, we, we came together individually as a team and with the coach and we decided it needs to be something culturally within the team that we need to change. Um, we come together and created a, a set of rules that we have as a team to help lead us to that goal of, of being successful and, and we're implementing it and we're holding each other accountable and I think that's an, a step in the right direction and we'll see how, see how it plays out. Well, the talent seems to be there, uh, despite what, what the record was last year. Like you said, a lot of close calls, but how would you kind of assess what what the depth of, of the talent looks like? Uh, you've had a, a few days now of, of fall. 
preseason camp as we record this. Yeah, uh, I'm excited to see to see how we compete against others. Uh, it's fun to, to play against each other, but it's it's different once you get out there playing against another team. And, and I don't have a ton of opinions yet, uh, but I think I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm very excited. But you can see some talent, yes, right? Yes, uh, yes. Of course, the group. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, in, in how about in three years so far at Concordia, what's been your favorite moment on the field? On the field? Yeah. Oh, uh, I would have to say, I guess it's not a particular moment, but uh, something about coming together and ringing the bell after, after a win makes the hair on your neck stand up. That's, uh, that's something I always look forward to. It's a tradition I love. And, that the crack of the bell it has to make opponents feel a little <laughs> a little worse about the loss. So. Uh -huh. um, well, I'm sure you enjoy some of the road trips that you guys get to go on. A, a lot of them have typically kind of been in the region, but this year you get to go uh, to Oregon, as mentioned. What what are you guys most looking forward to about that trip? Yeah, this will be the first trip as a team where we'll, we'll get to fly together so so that'll be interesting um, we it's exciting it's exciting we're playing some good competition up there and we'll get to show off our talent I think as you said I think our team's very talented and, and it, it'll be it'll be fun to show that off against some opponents that we wouldn't usually see so it's just an exciting time have you ever been out there before? I have not been to Oregon, so I'm, okay. I'm very excited to be. I've been to California, but that's the fun stuff. So. Uh, how about uh, summer training? What what does that look for, like for you, and how do you stay motivated? Maybe, especially when maybe you don't have uh, teammates around you pushing you. Yeah, um, there's a group of guys back home that I played high school with, and and we'll go out to the field together and we'll do individual sessions and and keep each other sharp and then hit in the weight room to, for injury prevention. And, and uh, then I play the occasional Sunday league against some, some older guys just to, to put myself in a competitive atmosphere to, to have some fun. So that's what I usually do for, for the summer. Uh, how do you describe, uh, you know, I think kind of the, the standing goal every year is to try to win a, a conference championship, uh, which is a, obviously a hard thing to do, but how do you describe kind of what that challenge is like um, in, in, in the GPAC um, and a, a conference that has had teams make runs at nationals too? Yeah, um, the GPAC, it's a quality conference, quality competition. Uh, you really can't take a day off against our opponents. So it, I guess what we have to do is make sure to come prepared and sharp every day, whether it's in training, uh, meetings, uh, looking at film. When we're on the field, we just got to make sure we bring our all, we come as a team. And when somebody's down or not there for the day, having, having each other to bring each other up is, is what we need to do. So. That's what I think will lead us to a successful season, and hopefully it would be, I guess, finishing a GPAC championship. So.